Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm your host, Cameron, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to do a mask mechanic for your 5 Minutes to Freddy's um, fan game. So, a mask, we all know it, it's something apt to when you use the end, you put on the mask, and it pretty much acts like a door, but you put it on your face. Um, I have been really putting off this, um, really been putting off this tutorial for a long time, and I actually said I wasn't going to do it for a while for people that ask. Um, and I would say pretty much the same thing. It's like the door tutorial, but it's on your face and the door button is just your mask toggle, which is very true, but getting views and subscribers is one hell of a drug and also a lot of people are asking for it. And because this tutorial is going to be so simplistic, this probably isn't going to be more than like 10 minutes. Like it's, it's all we're talking about is just the mask playing the animation for the mask and that's it so that's pretty much the main synopsis of it um but i do have to say that i know this all looks different it's also because i just i'm doing this in a totally new application because there's a lot of stuff in my five minutes of Freddy's game application and there's just i can't do that and uh additionally you know uh, i'm going to be kind of moving on to more of the um print app game so a lot of my tutorials kind of well had like the main p purpose of it was like making a FNAF 1 fan game um but now we're moving on to stuff like how to make a FNAF 2 fan game and stuff that doesn't mean I'm literally starting all over to like the menu all over again and doing all the tutorials I'm just talking about like the main like the most important stuff which I know kind of doesn't make sense because I did like a what I did a Golden Freddy tutorial which but I made it kind of like a FNAF 2 Golden Freddy, and I made like a, what is it? I made like a puppet tutorial and a string chat. So it's kind of all cluttered, but now we're moving on to like FNAF 2 stuff, which all I have planned are like the mask, uh, a hallway with a flashlight, and then the custom night challenges. FNAF 3, I'm gonna do probably like a map toggle, and that's like it. FNAF 4, I might do like running to the doors and playing the animations there. Uh, maybe a Nightmare Foxy mechanic or Freddle mechanic. And in Scissor Location, I might try to mess around with like um, free roam features and stuff like that. Uh, we, we got a lot, um, but this obviously isn't, this the whole tutorial series isn't going on for much longer. Uh, there aren't too many tutorials left. I mean, there's still a lot, but it's not going to go on forever. So, just wanted to uh, give you guys information about that. And I'm only going to Scissor Location. Unless I can do, like, a FNAF 6, like, Tycoon Simulator stuff. Then I'm, I will, but I don't know how to do that. So, and I'm not trying to figure it out. But anyway, let's get to it. So, we have our um, canvas here. Obviously, it's if you have your own game, it should look very different than this. But I'm just only showing the mask. So... I'm going to go right click, insert object, and the first thing I'm going to insert is my mask. So I'm going to go active, I'm going to rename this to mask, double click into this, and what I want to do is, I want to go over to animations, right click, new, and we're going to make a new animation called mask down. And then we're just going to delete the stop animation because we don't need it. But in animation mask down, we want to go and guess what? get our animation of our mask which should automatically be going down as is so we don't have to worry about nothing so we put this animation and then we have a mask animation that plays when going all the way down and then once you have that just hold down alt go over to view hotspot hold down alt and press the middle square and then we got a mask it plays it goes down uh, i'm actually gonna change the speed of it to like 75 maybe so let me just do that um, and then we're going to go to animations right click new and we're gonna make a mask up animation which believe it or not this is for our mask going up and what I'm actually gonna do is I'm actually just gonna copy all of the mask down animations and then go over to mask up delete this uh, first little diamond and then just go right click paste and boom we have all of our mask here, but now we want to kind of align it so that the mask is going, well, it's kind of going up now. So I'm just going to drag all these, um, not the frame nine where it's like this invisible thing because we are actually going to use this, but up to frame eight, just drag it and just kind of make it look like it's going up. So just drag it over here 
and then there we go and we actually want to keep this last frame where it's invisible because we kind of want to make it invisible and you know it's, it's more code if we if we don't add this in so after you have this hold down alt and press the middle square on all these i gotta put i gotta do it here there we go and now all of our things are like that and now if we play it boom the mask goes right back up and i am going to change the speed of this to 75 again there we go and then i'm going to press ok awesome and i'm just gonna snap it there then the next thing i'm going to insert is my math toggle so i'm going to go insert object active and excuse me i'm just going to rename this to mask toggle there we go i'm going to stretch this out because i don't have like a pre-made mask button i'm going to stretch this out double click into it and i'm just going to paint it a solid color if you have your own uh mask i mean uh yeah like mask button or toggle just go up to import and import it into here um but i don't i don't have that so i'm just gonna paint it a color boom there we go and the last thing i'm gonna do is go right click insert object this is going to be a counter and this is going to be called mask activated i don't know why i said it. I, I don't know why i said it like that it's just going to be called mask activated and that's all you need so we're going to go back over to the event oh actually no uh, we're not going to go over to the event editor yet because we have to make sure that both the mask toggle and the mask itself are not following the frame obviously if your mask is going to go across all the frames um so just highlight both of them go over to the runtime options and just uncheck follow the frame so that it'll go with you when you're scrolling left to right so i hope that clears some stuff up once you have that then we're going to go to the event editor go to new condition storyboard controls start a frame this and then we're going to go over to mask activated set counter zero then we're going to go over to new condition mask pointer and keyboard the mouse user clicks on an object and then we're going to click on the map mask toggle then we're gonna go right click insert go over to the mask activated compare the cost value when it is set to zero which in this case i believe will mean it is down or uh, no no when it's up we're gonna go over to the timer fire event at a given delay we will say after 300 of a second because we do need a time buffer in there we will say uh mask down of course and then I'm just gonna copy this, press OK. I, I hope I copied it. New condition, the timer, on event, <laughs> mask down. Go over to the mask activated, right click, set counter to one. Then we're gonna go over to new condition, uh, mouse pointer keyboard, the mouse, user clicks on an object. Uh, and then we're going to say the mouse toggle. And then go right click, insert. Uh, mask activated, compare the constant value when it is set to 1, which means when your mask is down and you click the button, it'll go up. Similar to this one where if you click the mask toggle and the counter is 0, which means your mask is down, then it, no, 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 when it's up, it'll go down, and in this one, where it's down, it'll go up. I, I don't know. And in this code, go over to the timer, right click, fire fan to give a delay, 3 hundredths of a second again. We'll call it mask up now copy this go over to new condition the timer on event mask up go over to the mask activated right click set counter to zero and then once you have that go over to new condition mask activated create the counter to value zero and when it is set to zero then we are going to go over to the mask right click animation change animation sequence to mask up and then go over to new condition uh mask no mask activated compare the content value when it's set to one go over to your mask and go right click animation change animation sequence to mask up i don't know if i said change animation sequence we got to change the animation sequence when it's one to down which I think I might have done this in the wrong order, but we'll see. So if I run the uh, run the frame, as you can see, the mask went up. Which you can always just uh, like set and like you can always just make that invisible at the start. I'll show you guys how to do that. But when you click this, 
boom, mask is down, and then go, boom, mask is up. So we have the mask working now, uh, but obviously that whole like mask at the start where it kind of goes up at the beginning, you can just go over to uh, the mask, right click, in the starting frame, go over to your mask, visibility, make object invisible, and then just go over to where it says, um, uh, like, mask one, activated equal, is equal to one, and go right click, visibility, make object invisible. I mean, reappear. Make object reappear, don't make it invisible. And then run a frame, and then it should work. So, as you can see, oh, no mask, but then, boom, mask is down, and then it all works well. So, that's about it for the tutorial. Um, next tutorial will be on the flashlight and hallway mechanic, which should also be a fairly quick tutorial. And, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. See you guys.